Hi everybody, Laura here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've got a fun project to share with you using my favorite and delicious Pink Fresh Studio liquid watercolors as well as their Fruitastic stamp and die set. So I'm gonna start dropping in some drops of these liquid watercolors. First up is Key Lime, then a little Sky Blue. Next is some aquamarine, then a little bit of sapphire, and lastly, some lavender. So I have some Arches watercolor uh, paper here. I think it's the cold press. A little bit of water and a cheapy brush. I'm going to paint very simple stripes. Nothing fancy. And I'm going so slow, but you wouldn't know it. I actually sped this up with my editing. That is how slow I painted these stripes. You do not have to go that slow, but I felt like I wanted to get a nice, smooth stripe. So anyway, I hit it with a heat gun after each stripe to make sure that it's bone dry because I don't want any bleeding. I want that beautiful overlap of color right there. So there is a stripe of sky blue. Now hitting it with the heat gun. Now I'm going in with the aquamarine. Now, sometimes I dip it in the water to dilute it. I'm not sure. I don't want it to be too dark, but I don't want it to be too light. I'm trying to find that sweet spot of the right vibrancy. So there is aquamarine. Now next is sapphire, which can be really dark and vibrant. So I kind of diluted it a little bit too much. So as I was painting the stripe, I realized that's too light. So I went back in and I'm going to paint it a second time. If you line it up just right, you would never know that I had to paint that stripe twice. Okay, so then heat that with the heat gun. This time I'm going in with the lavender. Pressing down and swiping it. Doesn't this kind of look like little strips of washi tape? I love how it looks. It's so simple and yet it's so pretty. So I felt like I needed one more color, so I pulled out bubble gum, which is the most fantastic pink color that I've ever seen in my entire life. Now, once I paint this last stripe, I'm going to stop and I'm just going to bask in the beauty of these stripes. I mean, just look at it. Now, moving on to the Fruitastic stamp and die set. I love the back of the packaging. It gives you some ideas how they're supposed to look. So I'm only going to be using the larger and the smaller strawberries and then the large and small strawberry coordinating die. And first I'm going to die cut onto some Nina Solar White cardstock. So then I will end up stamping on the die cuts. It kind of helped me get it lined up better than stamping first and then die cutting. So I'm going to start with the larger strawberry, holding it down with one of those misty magnets, lining up that strawberry image, and then I'm going to ink it up with Tutta Fruta Aruta, which is a mama elephant pigment ink. I have to sing it. You can't just say Tutti Fruity. You got to sing it. So I'm stamping it a couple times to get a nice pink color. And then I'm going to ink it up along the edge using Lollipop, which is kind of a reddish pink color. And I'll go back and forth between Tutti Fruity and Lollipop until I get a nice juicy strawberry. Then for the leaves, Gonna line up that leaf image. I'll use two green mom elephant inks, which is lemongrass, and the darker green is mojito. So go back and forth between those two greens. Very easy, simple to do, but it gives you that nice dimensional look to your images. I mean, a flat inked up strawberry is pretty, but a gradient inked up strawberry is spectacular. My daughters, when they come to me with their art projects for high school, they're like, mom, can you give me some suggestions of how to make it better? Which I don't know why they ask me. They don't think I know anything, but I always tell them the same thing. Find a way to add some gradient to your project. It just wows everyone. And then now for the sentiment, I'm going to emboss the sentiment from the Fruitastic stamp set. So I rub down those watercolor stripes with the magic powder bag. It's got to be bone dry if you want to emboss on it. Then I'll heat that with a heat gun. I cut down some foam sheeting to put on the back of this watercolor panel. I adhered the foam sheeting with score tape. And then as well, I put a little bit of 
foam tape on the back of the strawberries to pop those up. And this card is finished. I don't know if you can read that sentiment. It says, you're sweet inside and out. Oh, yes, you are. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time.